Hello viewers, in this video, we're going to be discussing about different data file formats in data engineering. We are going to look into those five common used um, data file format that data engineers use on daily basis. So let's, before further, without further ado, let's um, head on to the first one, which is um, the, the comma separated value. It is a row-based value and is a, is a popular file format for data engineer due to its simplicity and widespread support. It's a simple um, format that can, be, that can easily read and be understood by a human. It is the most used so far that as a beginner in, in data file format that you commonly see daily as a data engineer. Um, and we are going to talk about um, the JSON. The JSON um, is, a, is also a role-based file format. A sample of a role um, of a JSON, of a JSON, uh, a sample of um, a JSON is on the right side of it, which you can see it comes in in coily braces uh, where you see the key and value, key and value. Let's say this is the key and this is the value. So this is how um, a JSON, a JSON um, data file format comes into. One, the next one is the most important one that we are going to be talking about No. And JSON, um, JSON is flexible and widely used data format for data engineering due to its lightweight structure and support for complex data type. Many no SQL data such as MongoDB store data in JSON format, making it convenient choice for storing um, data such as um, semi-structured and unstructured data. JSON is often used as a format for configuration file. For example, if you're, if you're building um, a Docker file, um, JSON is commonly used in building Docker file and it is easy to read, modify, and it support complex data structure. Um, Avro. Avro is a row-based file format too. And Avro is a data serialization system that provides a compact binary for data storage and processing. Avro provides a compact binary format for serializing data, making it a convenient choice for storing large amount of structured data. It also supports um, schema evaluation, which means that the schema used to write data can be in different format from the schema used to read the data. This make it a good choice for long-term data storage as data can be read and processed even if the underlying schema change over time. It is optimized for big data processing, making it a good choice for data storage and exchange in Apache Hadoop and Apache Spark and other big data system. Avro is often used for data streaming application as it provides compound binary format that can be easily sterilized and transformed over network. Let's take for instance, a good case of Avro as a data engineer. Let's say your company wants to use BigQuery as their primary analysis system but they have, but they still have um like um they still have like Apache Hadoop and Apache Spark workload that they cannot move to BigQuery. So, for instance, your company is suggesting um your for instance your company is suggesting has to store this data that to be common in both workload. What should you do? As a data engineer, it is advised to store this common data encoded in Avro in Google Cloud Storage. 
since if you encode this data or the data in Avro, um, the Apache Hadoop and the Apache Spark will be able to, to assess this data, process this data and transform it without, um, without um, any further ETL transformation. That's one beauty about Avro because it store it it stored data in different schema and you can read it from in, in another schema type one of the compelling one that we're going to talk about again is packet and this is a columnar based file format packet is commonly used for big data and data engineering scenario it is highly optimized for fast and efficient storage and retrieval of complex data store. Some common use cases for packet is that um, it is used as a underlying storage format for data warehouses due to its high compression rate and fast query performance. So by storing data in columnar format, packet enable data warehousing system to retrieve only the needed data to answer specific queries, reducing the IO and memory uses and improving query performance. One of its most popular, one of the most popular way of using packet, packet um, file formats, data file formats is that um, is a popular choice for data lake due to its ability to handle large amounts of structured and unstructured semi-structured data. Data lakes use packets to store the raw data, which can then be processed and analyzed in batch, real-time or near real-time processing system. For analytics, packet is used in big data analytics and business intelligence application due to its ability to handle large amount of data and provide fast query performance. Packet allow analysts to quickly and easily analyze large data sets, making it ideal choice for data intensive application. And when for use for our data pipeline, packet is often used as an intermediate format in data pipeline to store and transfer large data sets between system. It compress and store the data in columnar format, which enable efficient and high performance data transfer and reduce the time and resources required for data movement. Now, it is used for machine learning too. Packet is used in machine learning scenario to store and process large data sets, enabling fast and efficient data processing. It supports the training and deployment of machine learning model on large data sets. And um, the last one, which is this um, optimized row columnar. It is a columnar based file format too. And it is commonly used in big data and data engineering scenario. It is highly optimized for fast and efficient storage and relevant of large complex data sets. Some common use cases are data warehousing. It is also used as underlining storage format for data warehouses due to high due to its high compression rate and fast query performance. By storing data in communal format, the, the optimized row columnar enable data warehousing system to retrieve data needed to answer specific query, reducing IO and memory usage and improving query performance. It is also a popular choice for data lake in its ability to handle large amounts of structured and semi-structured data. It can be used 
It can be used in batch processing, real-time and near real-time processing too. And one advantage and one key you should note about optimized row columnar is that it is a native storage format for Apache Hive, a data warehouse in an SQL query engine built on top of Hadoop. By using optimized row columnar, Hive is able to efficiently store and process large data in real choice and analysis and business intelligent application. So this, um, every, every file, every data file format has its use case. When you want to deal with um, series of megabytes of data, um, it is advisable to use um, CSV and JSON. And when you're dealing with complex amount of data, it is advisable to use Avro, um, packet and optimize row column. And when it comes to machine learning, data engineer and, and machine learning engineer advise to use packet because uh, it helps to compress the file, compress the file we, and help to reduce the uh, processing time for training each each model because of the large amount of data set stored in each model. It will help to compress the file so that you can impute and add more, more data to training the model. So this is it guys, this is how, this is um, the different file data formats in data engineering. And th these are the use cases. Thank you for watching and kindly subscribe.